day students, it's Mr. Sargent here with your day 150 recap video for ELA and for science. Now in ELA today, we worked on our eye ready diagnostic assessment. So we have nothing for our video for ELA, but we do have a reading comprehension to read when it comes to science. The reading comprehension is called Bones on the Go. And ladies and gentlemen, I have some special helpers that are here to help us read this together. to the brave bar. You need your skeleton and your skeletal system for or framework if bones don't just hold you up. It gives your body a sharp its shape. Its shape protects your organs and works with your muscles to help you move. At birth you have more than 300 bones, which fuse together as you grow. By the time your body is finished growing, you'll have about 206 bones. Researchers at Wright State University. University School of Medicine in Ohio have discovered that kids who exercise have strong bones as adults. adults. Your body has plates like bones that can't Moves such as those that make make up the cranium. The cranium protects your brain. The stirrup bone, also called the station, is in the ear. It is the smallest bone in the human body. Your body is made up of many movable bones, such as the humerus, which is located in the upper arm. Your Ribs provide a protective casing of important organs, such as your heart and lungs. The spine is made up of 33 bones called the vertebrae. The thigh bone, thigh bone is called the femur. femur. It, it is it's the longest of and strongest strongest bone in your body. How else can you bone up? Make sure your body gets enough calcium. Calcium, the bone building mineral is found in foods and drinks such as your yogurt, leafy greens. Leafy greens and the milk. Did you know more than half the bones in your butt and the human body are in the hands and the and the feet? Each hand has 27 bones. Each foot has 26 bones. Now if you look here ladies and gentlemen, they did an incredible job reading, didn't they? Give them a round of applause. Give them a round of applause. Oh, they did great. Woo! Awesome, 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 awesome. Now, after you're done reading, ladies and gentlemen, there are four or five questions. Let's see right here. There are five questions that you are gonna be answering in this activity. Now, these questions are pretty easy, but ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow in class, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask you some more questions that you won't find on this question list. So ladies and gentlemen, I wanna make sure that you read this. Now you can find this in the description below or you can just rewatch this video to see my incredible readers in here kind of teach you a little bit about Bones on the Go. And that's it for day 150, ladies and gentlemen. I love these quick and easy videos. Uh, I don't know about you, you guys did an awesome job. Now tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna continue with day two of our I Ready Assessment for Reading. Now, as you remember, we're gonna take our time. 
We're going to read each question and we're going to do our best. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you get some sleep tonight. I hope you have a great meal tonight. And I hope you come back tomorrow rested with a lot of energy and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud of each and every one of you. And until tomorrow, have a great night.